take a step back and reflect on the entire 2012-2013 season in Syracuse? Obviously, different uh, scenario for us when we move, move into a new city and uh, a lot of new things happening, new fans, new everything really. And um, I thought I thought the guys handled it really well. I thought we came in with uh, pretty high expectations. We put on ourselves. We wanted to get back to the championship and win again. And you know, unfortunately, we came a little short. But uh, I think you know the guys should definitely be proud of uh, the effort we put in and uh, you know the play that we put out on the ice. I'm very proud of this team. Why? What, what about this group has made you so proud? Of I'm I'm proud of the way we always just stuck together, no matter what. Uh, guys always had each other's backs, whether it was on the ice or off the ice. Um, we talk a lot about like being a family and being brothers, and you know we're, that's true to the word that we we are a family here, and uh, the guys do really care about each other. And I think it showed on the ice the way the way the guys played. Um, you know whether it be yeah, like anybody stepping up to you know to back up a guy in a fight or whatever, anything like that. Guys are always there for you, and uh, that's what I'm most proud of. Is just just the group of guys we had. How do you think that, that your leadership uh, translated to the players on the ice? Well, I, you know, it's it starts it starts from the top with with the coaches for sure. They uh, you know they instill um, you know the right game plans and stuff like that for us. And but then it does trickle down to the players, and uh, it starts with Mike Angelides as our captain, and we follow his lead. And he's uh, he's one of those hard nosed guys who he'll you know he'll do anything for the team. He blocks shots. He does a lot of a lot of the dirty work for the guys. That the guys really respect, um, and I think you can learn a lot from from guys like him and guys like JP as well. Guys that you know do, put in a lot of hard work off the ice and on the ice, and uh, I think it's great for the younger guys to to learn from from veterans such as them. What do you think the rookies gained from this season? Well, I mean, I think uh, you learn a lot when you go through a playoff run. You learn how much uh, sacrifice it takes, the hard work it takes, and. Um, I think, you know, and I, I went through it last year, even though I wasn't a rookie last year, it was my first long playoff run in the AHL. And you learn a lot about yourself, a lot about the character that, uh, you know, you have within your group, within within the team. And, uh, you know, I think the, the experience that the guys are going to take from, from this year is invaluable. They're, they're going to come back next year with more confidence. They, they know that they've played long, grueling playoff series, and uh, it's just really great experience for them to, to be to take part in this kind of a playoff run what moments stand out again for you personally that that uh, really stand out and will make this a memorable year for you um personally for sure it, it was when i got when i got called up um when i got i got to play my first two games in the nhl that was just incredible um you know it's, it's what what i dreamed of when i was a kid of playing one day on an nhl ice and i was able to do it with my parents there in the stands it was just for sure that was probably the, one of the best moments of my life. Looking forward to the future, what, what are your thoughts on the summer here and then next season? Well, I mean, first I'm going to take a couple a couple weeks off and just kind of reboot. But um, after that, I want to have a good summer of training and want to get uh, want to get the training camp in top shape. And uh, my goal for next season is to try and make uh, the Tampa Bay Lightning, um, which is the goal of, I mean, everybody going to training camp. So that's... Um, that's what that's what's going to be in my mind all summer is to try and uh, crack a spot on on the NHL roster, and uh, we'll just keep going from there. What would your message be to the fans of the crunch? Well, it's just that they've they've been so amazing. They are amazing all year. They were behind us, um, you know, and then throughout the playoffs too, it was just unbelievable the support we had. Guys, we, we'd go out to eat at the mall or go to a movie or whatever, and people are. Are telling them, telling us they're all in, and telling us how much you know they they're proud of us and stuff like that. It was just the support we got was unbelievable. Even at the end, when you know, unfortunately we, we lost that last game, but uh, you know the people that waited around and gave us that ovation that was unbelievable, and they just great hockey fans here in Syracuse.